my name is Patricia and today we're going to continue with our devotions for our series Joyful January. This week we are looking at a story of Jesus from one of my favorite books in the Bible, in the book of Luke. Does anyone have any guesses on who wrote this book? Is it John the Baptist? No. Or Matthew the tax collector? No. Maybe Mark. I reckon Mark. No? Oh, I know. It's Luke. That totally makes sense. Well, before we get into the story we're focusing today, I want to tell you a little bit about our author Luke. Luke was a very clever man. He was a traveling co-worker of Apostle Paul, but he was also known as a doctor. So he was a very, 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 very smart man. But one of my favorite things about the book of Luke is that Luke did not use big words to show how clever he is. He simply wanted people to understand and get to know Jesus. And so today, we're going to look at a story found in Luke chapter 4, verses 1 to 13. This is Jesus, Hey-o! who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. Jesus was baptized by John, and God showed John that Jesus was his chosen one. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness among the wild animals. Oh, hello, friend. For 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus didn't eat anything. So he was hungry. Satan came to him and said, Hey! If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus knew God's word, and so he answered, No! The Word of God says people don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so Jesus passed the first test. Uh. Then Satan took him to Jerusalem and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. Oh. For the Word of God says he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wait. But Jesus said, the Word of God also says, you must not test the Lord your God. No. And so Jesus passed the second test. So Satan took him to the peak of a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. Satan said, I will give it all to you if you kneel down and worship me. But Jesus said, Get out of here, Satan, for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. <laughs> then Satan went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. And so Jesus passed the third and last test. Wow! Jesus was very strong to not fall into temptations. Satan tempted him with so many things but Jesus knew the Word of God and he remained obedient to God. You see friends, Luke did not just want to tell this story because it was great and it showed how strong Jesus is against Satan. Luke also wanted to show us that Jesus is fully man and fully God. What does that mean? Great question. It means that he is perfect. But you see, Jesus went through all the temptations we as humans would ever go through because he wanted you and I to know that he understands and he was tempted as well. Yes, Jesus never actually sinned, but that's what makes him our perfect savior. This story also tells us that just like Jesus won against Satan using the word of God, you and I could do the same. Jesus showed us what we should do when we are tempted to remain strong and obedient to the word of God. Jesus is our perfect example on how to live our life. The more we read the Word of God, the more we know how to live our life like Jesus. Whatever you're going through, whatever challenges and temptations you would ever face, Jesus faced it before you and was victorious. Therefore, you 
are also victorious in Him. I encourage you today, whatever situation you find yourself in, think about what would Jesus do? This would help you respond the way Jesus would. Let's pray together. Why don't you repeat after me? Dear Jesus, we thank you for being our perfect example. We thank you that you are victorious. We thank you for showing us what to do when we are tempted. We pray that we remain strong like you and we pray that we would get to know more of you so we can become more like you. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye!